Hello, this is for my trumpet players. We're going to be working on Pueblo, and we're going to be working 15 to 38. Please make sure you have your music, make sure you have your trumpet, and make sure you are ready to play. It is very important that you are playing along with these videos, otherwise it is a waste of all my time. So in measure 15, you guys have two measures of rest. That's one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, play. Okay, um... I hopefully don't have to go to each note individually, but we have G, D, 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 B natural, D, E, D, C, D. Let's try that much. And um, if you have not warmed up, please do so because I will be a prime example of what it sounds like and how bad it is if you have not warmed up your instrument. Warming up your instrument entails doing scales. <laughs> doing long sounds. <laughs> my 17th video of the night. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, here we go. One more time. One, two, three, and... for that. I'm good. Let's go back. One, two, ready, and. Good work. If you're with me, I feel your struggle. Okay? I feel your struggle. Here's 17. Last try. One, two, ready, and. Okay, 
it. That was the best it's been. Now, one thing I would say is that I practice going from G up to D. But something I should also look into is going from D down to G because in measure 22, I have that D, G, G. And it's slurred. And usually using articulation helps me get a clean note to come out. So practicing going that slurred down. So the more I do it, the cleaner it becomes. My, my lips are kind of becoming muscle memory for remembering how I want that to sound. So doing it over and over and over and over again definitely helps. So um, pause it, go back, fix it. I'm living proof that sometimes it's not perfect and you gotta go back and you gotta fix it, okay? You have some rests then at 26. You come in to measure 30 on beat number two. This is tricky because um, the saxophones come in on beat one and you guys come in on beat two with like an echo. All right, so let's go at 30 and I'll give you two beats, okay? Here we go. One, two. Now, that high D, that's three beats, so it's gonna feel like a really long note. Do it one more time. Ready? A one, two. And we do have a crescendo in 32, and we do have a day crescendo in 34. So we wanna make sure we add those in there. Articulation wise, again, it's the ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. So get those articulations down too. Add all those in. Notes and rhythms first, obviously. Um, get a clean tone quality. All right, let's take it back to uh, 17. Take it back to 17. It's all unison. We haven't had any split parts yet, so that's good. Uh, take it back to 17, and let's play through that whole thing. Good luck to all of us. Actually, you guys are going to play your part. I'm going to play the clarinet one part. Okay, so really good luck. Here we go. So we end together. One, two, and end. turn a page but I was trying to help you guys come in where you come in on beat three sorry hopefully that didn't confuse you let's do it one last time and this time I'll play your part with you okay here we go we're on 17 one two ready and So make sure you're, it's a small little section. You guys don't have a lot of parts. So really take your time to really clean up that section specifically. Okay. Because it could require a little bit of work. Make sure you're clear on that much so that when we go on to the next section, uh, you guys are not still struggling with the old part. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow or in class or online. Um, good luck. Bye. Thank you.